Hello guys, so I am back with another set of core company recruitment opportunities. A lot of people are watching the channel only for core company recruitments because this is an electronics based channel primarily. So we are going to see some entry level job opportunities that is applicable for freshers and experienced candidates. There is rep recruitment opportunities from various companies, Intel, Qualcomm, Synopsys, etc. All are core companies. So please watch the video till the end. If it is useful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. A lot of people are still not subscribing. I don't know why, but please subscribe and support and share the videos with your friends. Uh, maybe your sister or brother is looking for core company recruitments. So please share it with them. The first one is an internship opportunity and obviously it is for freshers. Internet of Things Intern. IoT is one of the very famous technologies now. So, uh, this is a recruitment opportunity for Internet of Things Intern from Pelican Equipments. Okay. So, there is uh, this opportunity posted on LinkedIn just three days before. Okay. Now, what is the uh, job here? So, you will be collaborating uh, with the engineering team to design, develop and test IoT devices and prototype. So, they have given the job summary that we are seeking for talented and motivated electronics engineer intern to join our team for six month internship and obviously it is a paid internship. As an electronics engineer intern, you will work closely with the engineering team on the various projects related to IoT device development and electronics testing. This internship is a great opportunity for someone with a passion of electronics and IoT to gain hands-on experience in a real-world setting. So, we were reading the key responsibilities. So, you will be collaborating with the various teams, utilize Arduino ID, create and program IoT solutions, assist in the development of electronic circuits and PCB design, basic electronic testing, troubleshooting, debugging, assemble and solder electronic components. Obviously, that is the job of an electronics engineer. We will be assembling the, you know, PCBs will be uh, soldering the components, electronics component. Yeah, that's the job. Okay, document project progress, findings results, stay updated with the latest developments in the field of electronics and IoT. Qualification they have given is prior experience with Arduino and ID, Arduino ID and ES, ESP32 is preferred, but you don't need to have a year of experience. Knowledge of basic mm, electronics testing, familiarity with PCB design, proficiency in soldering, assembling electronics components, problem solving skill, excellent communication, teamwork, ability to work well in collaborative and fast paced environment. So these are the very, very basic qualifications required. Internship this is, this is for six months and the salary or stipend is 10,000 to 15,000. Day shift location is Chennai. Okay. so. Uh, this is uh, the company description also they have given. Uh, this is P uh, Peli Lab. Scientific is a manufacturer. So, it is basically a electronics based company, kind of a startup company. It is not a unicorn. But we all know that if you want to get established in the electronics company, core company, generally you have to go through these kind of uh, companies, uh, like small companies, maybe, pro, you know, project centers. That's how we be, we build our experience and then you go to bigger uh, unicorns like Qualcomm, Intel. So, it's not an easy task to build your path. So, if you are getting these kind of experiences, getting these kind of opportunities, definitely you should grab them. Okay. So, that is the first opportunity. Link will be in the description. Next one is Synopsys. It's a, again a very famous electronics company. It is a big company. They are hiring for ASIC Physical Design Engineer. This is a VLSI ASIC related opportunity. So, this uh, role is for a technical ladder and so it requires hands-on experience prefer preferably with SNPS tools, DC, SC, PT, etc. So, these are some techniques or tools. You need to have two to four year of experience after graduation from a reputed uh, university. So this is ASIC related opportunity. You will be working on ASIC related areas, VLSI areas. If you are having previous experience in ASIC or VLSI design, at least two year of experience they have given typically two to four year of experience. So you need to have minimum four year of experience in order to apply for this. Okay. Location is Bangalore and Hyderabad. For two locations, they are hiring. So, multiple opportunities is there. So, please apply. If you are an experienced candidate with minimum two year of experience, please apply for it. Okay. Where to apply? Just scroll and you can see this icon here. Now, if you are not getting reply mails quickly, sometimes when you apply that time itself, you will get a rejection mail. Means, application tracking system. That is the job of ATS to reject the applications which doesn't have the keywords. So, if you are uh, applying for some specific roles, 
try to include the keywords from the job description. For example, if you are having experience of two years and if you have worked in uh, ASIC or VLSI, you always should make sure you have this keyword of ASIC or electronics engineer in your resume because otherwise the ATS will uh, reject your application. Okay, so keywords is very, very important in resumes. Next one is an Intel recruitment. Intel is hiring for, again, a SIG PDK development engineer. This is also a VLSI related uh, opportunity. Bangalore is the location. Work mode is hybrid, means sometimes you can work from home. Sometimes you have to go to the office. Okay. What is the requirement here? You need to have BB Tech, MEM Tech, MSc in Electronics, Computer Science with 3 plus years of experience in ASIC PDK, Kit Physical Design, ASIC Design Automation, VHDL Verilog, uh, various tools they have given here, Timing Tools, Flow Planning, IR Draw, Physical Verification should have a good understanding of Verilog and VHDL. So Verilog and VHDL are very, very good tools to learn especially in my opinion VHDL because VHDL is one of the very key tools in uh, electronics. If you don't know about VHDL, there is a very good video lecture series on our channel. Please watch it. You will definitely find them useful. So please watch that. I'll uh, put that uh, playlist in the description because it is very useful. So you need to have three plus years of experience in ASIC development. Only then you can apply for this. Okay. So that is again a VLSI design related opportunity because a lot of people was commenting uh, for job opportunities from VLSI domain. Again, that's why I posted this uh, or that's why I included this in the video. So click on this apply and then you can apply for it. The last opportunity we are going to see is from Qualcomm. They are hiring for senior engineer chipset power. Hyderabad, Telangana is the location. So we will see the minimum qualifications first. Minimum qualification is bachelor degree uh, in engineering, information system, computer science or a related field and two plus years of software engineering or related work experience. If you are not having experience, but if you are having masters in again engineering information systems, one plus years of experience after masters, you can apply for this. Or if you are having PhD, you don't need to have an experience. Experience in what are the uh, areas, the languages, C, C++, Java, Python. Okay, so this is chipset power, uh, software engineer or senior engineer. Okay, responsibilities also they have given, maintaining and developing chipset level power, use case modeling tools, working with the power, hardware, software system teams, understanding of hardware architecture, translating of power estimate request into detailed task, Enabling other teams to leverage the tools and methodologies, etc. Okay, so here what you are doing is chipset power. Uh, that chipset power you are translating into some other models. And with the help of C, C++, Java, Python, these uh, languages, you are building some code to, uh, to translate this power into a model. Okay, so that is the job. If you are interested in it, please apply. So these are the opportunities that we are seeing in today's video. All the links are in the description. Please quickly go to the uh, description and apply for this. Uh, that's all for today's video. If you are finding the videos useful, please subscribe, share the videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.